Welcome back, folks. Memory serves, then in the last episode, we caused um, an, to us, unknown woman, some trouble. And we encountered the most, yeah, the most obnoxious character in this game, Mr. Lamp. For now we shall try to sabotage Mr. Lamp's plant by playing around with these sensors and yeah, trying not to get ourselves killed, which is quite easy as um, I think I've demonstrated in the second episode. But for now let's talk to this man. Excuse me. See if we can get any information. So I don't think he knows anything about Overman, but let's uh, try anyway. Do you know a guy called Overman? I don't think so. He certainly doesn't work here. Yeah, that that's what I was thinking. Excuse me. I don't think talking to this man serves any purpose. How do I get off this level? Well, I hear there's been a crash, so access to High Green is cut off. You'll have to use the elevator. Yeah, we basically already knew that. But I don't think he knows anything about the council that we don't. What can you tell me about the council? I used to think they did a great job. But since they promoted Lamb, I've had my doubts. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. You can sometimes talk to Joey and he will give you tips, but um, apparently not now. Hey! My mistake, thought it was the John. <laughs> it's the storeroom for robots only. Lamb hmm. doesn't trust humans to go in there, even though there's nothing worth pinching. Intriguing. So why does Mr. Lamb not like people going in there? Let's have a look, shall look we? Look through to another room. Yes, I know that, but... Um... Hmm. I do know that you can look... Ah, right-clicking does the trick. Okay. Yeah, um... We'll try to sabotage the plant. Possible. There's a gangway. Hmm. So right, left clicking doesn't do anything. Maybe right clicking. Okay, this also does not do anything. Can you interact in any way? Oh, a fuse box. I want you to check out the storeroom. What's the catch? There's no catch. There could be something useful in there. Don't count on it. Good old optimistic, Joey. Okay, now maybe we can do some stuff. Let's... Um, extend this gangway. Oops, wrong button. Uh, nope. Uh, sorry, guys, if I look a bit stupid here. That's because I haven't played this game in a while, so I'm. Find anything useful in the stores? No, but there's a fuse box on the wall, connected to the alarm system. Can you disconnect it? Sorry, no can do. Go and disable the fuse box in the stores. No chance, not in this shell. Yeah, we need... Anyway, what if a grown-up saw me? Before we can do this, we first have to get Joey a new shell. 
And I, and before we are able to give Joey a new shell, I have to figure out how you extend this gangway again. Hmm. Okay, so this view you cannot interact with anything, I think. Looks through to another room. Let's talk to Joey again. Okay. Never mind. Hmm. Let's look through the window again. Okay, there's the gangway. There's something suspicious looking on the shelf. Uh, yeah, that's that's one thing which I do not like about these old school point-and-click adventure game, then it is hunting the screen for pixels which you can interact with, the infamous pixel hunting. Yeah. This part I never really liked. In fact, I didn't like it at all. Okay, there's a fuse box and the gangway, but I can't interact with it at the moment. Uh, can I look at the Some senses? kind of scanner. Maybe I... Uh, Never mind. Maybe I have to cause some havoc. I think throwing this in this would be pretty bad. The metal bar is too thick to push in there. Hmm. Well, I would not suggest putting your finger in there. I don't think you it would be a good idea to put the metal glass, the sunglasses in there. Uh, let's look at them. It's part of the mechanism driving the conveyor. That's plausible. Sure to lose my fingers if I put them in there. Yeah, so don't. Don't put them there, then. Okay, I think we have to... No. Never mind. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm missing something here. Maybe I can... I need to... Hey! Oh, I forgot. I told yeah. you not to go in there. You're not allowed in there. So, I think the order in which you do this puzzle is you first have to distract the man by throwing something in this um, box there. You can't use the metal bar, apparently. The metal bar. Yeah. So, let's. Wander around. Okay, I cannot use this console. Any things? I don't under. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, don't think I can just. There's no access to his insides. Yeah, disable the robot like this. Do you want? I hope this is. The shell can't be removed. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe we can. We have to talk to Mr. Lamb. In any case, it shall be quite funny to do so. It seems that Mr. Lamb is having some troubles with the elevator. Hey, Lamb. <laughs> hey, Lamb. I see at least Mr. Robert Foster does not, hasn't, uh, lost his manners. Hmm. Just ask this guy, who probably never heard of Overman, if he has ever heard of a guy called Overman, expecting the answer no. Do you know a guy called Overman? 
Doberman? No, I don't. Yeah. I think never nobody in this game knows who Overman is. What do you do for entertainment around What here? do you do for entertainment around here? If I'm looking for entertainment, I go home and watch a video. Fair enough, so... When will the elevator be repaired? I don't know. Security have disabled the elevator. I thought you said you work for security. Uh, I do? Uh, I'm in a different department. Yeah. We'll probably have to wait. The until the intruder has been captured. That could take all day. I shall register a complaint. The council shall hear of this. Just go ahead. Yeah. Hey, what? What do you produce, sir? Well, actually, yeah. Is your coat made of real fur? Is your coat made of real fur? That's right, real beaver fur. Made from the last ten beavers in the world. <laughs> Do you like it? It's disgusting and immoral. It's disgusting and immoral. You're one of those soft sentimentalists, <laughs> aren't you? Uh... Well, I couldn't give a damn about beavers. What does your factory produce, actually? What does your factory produce? Pipes, ducks, and conduits. Anything important? <laughs> what do you think this city is built on? Hmm. Hmm. I'm really tempted. Yeah, I have to go with this. Rock and roll? <laughs> Don't be daft. I'm talking pipes here. Think of all the things they're used for. Like sewers, you mean? <laughs> Let me tell you uh. something, lad. Pipes are the arteries of this mighty erection. <laughs> the veins through which its lifeblood pumps. And I am proud, I proud to serve the corporation. I suppose somebody has to be. See you later. Good robot faster. Always witty. Always witty. I'd like to have this cable, please. But I don't think I... Oh, I need... Yeah. Before I get this cable, Joey needs a new shell. Let's talk to the security officer. I think that's really perfectly safe. What happened here? Sabotage chopper crashed. Destroyed the hospital. A hospital? That's tragic. Could have been worse. It almost hit the factory. Hmm. So you reckon it was sabotage? Things don't crash without a reason. I don't want to be a scaremonger, but... It was probably the work of crazies from Hobart. Hobart? What's that? A rival corporation, Hobart City. Hmm. Well, we know for a fact that it was not Hobart City. Uh, when will this wreckage be cleared? When the cleanup crew arrive. Walkway is off limits. You'll have to take the elevator down to Bellevue. Where is the elevator? Right outside the factory entrance. Do you mind if I watch? There's nothing much to see. They've already scraped out the remains of the crew. Were there any survivors? Yeah. The dirty sab who caused the crash. But Captain Reich will deal with him. He's a living legend among security men. Yeah. Um, when we come back, folks, Robert Forster, the sabotaging sap, will continue to do the things he does. So until next time, folks, until then.